Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Problem 53, chapter number 23, Gauss Law, Halliday Resnick Walker, International Edition 10. Uh, I'll read out the problem. The volume charge density of a solid non conducting sphere of radius capital R, 5.6 centimeters. So, radius is 5.6 centimeters. 5.6 centimeters. 5.6. Uh, 5.60 centimeters varies with a radial distance r given as given by rho is equal 14.1 pico coulomb per meter cube into little r divided by capital r now 14.1 instead of 14.1 pico coulomb per meter cube i am writing k for a while then we will substitute the value of k instead of k this 14.1 pico coulomb per meter cube uh, what is the electric part a what is the sphere's uh, total charge and then what is the field magnitude at uh, r equal to 0, r equal to capital R by 2 and r equal to r and uh, we have to draw a graph between uh, field and the uh, and radial distance r. So, uh, we have a charged sphere non-conducting uh, uniform, not uniformly, but a charged sphere uh, whose charge density is non-uniform given by this equation. First, uh, we will find, we'll, we have to find our total charge of the sphere then field at different points. So, what I will do is, I will first find out uh, uh, a charge enclosed by a sphere of radius r. I okay? will find out charge enclosed by a sphere of radius r. So, I have drawn a sphere, a sphere of radius r. The given sphere is having a radius of capital R. So, that sphere may be this. This may be the capital R radius sphere which is charged. Out of that, I am considering only a smaller sphere, concentric sphere with a radius of little r. I want to find out charge enclosed by this, uh, within this sphere of radius uh, little r. For that, I am considering since uh, density is not uniform, so we cannot, we have to perform the integration. So, uh, what I am doing is, I am considering uh, a sphere, I am considering a spherical shell here with a radius of r prime and thickness of dr prime. Now, every point in that uh, spherical shell, which is a very thin spherical shell, all these points are at same distance from the center. So, at all these points, charge density is going to be same, k r prime divided by capital R. This distance is r prime now. All these points are at a distance of r prime. So, k r prime divided by capital R. So, charge within this shell, okay, charge within this shell, I'll write dq for that differential charge within the shell is going to be rho density into the volume. Now, volume is 4 pi r prime squared into thickness dr prime. That is surface area into the thickness. Surface area into the thickness. 4 pi r prime squared into dr prime. So, in instead of rho, we will write k r prime. Remember, these are the points at a distance of r prime. So, in instead of r, r prime divided by capital R then 4 pi r prime squared dr prime this is uh, 4 pi k divided by capital r r prime cube dr prime so this is charge within the shell okay this is charge within the shell now total charge within the sphere of radius r will just perform the integration so charge within the radius of r so i'm writing qr for this okay charge within the radius of r charge within radius r. So, this is equal to integration of dq which is integration of uh, 4 pi k divided by capital R 4 pi k divided by capital R into r prime cube dr prime r prime cube dr prime r prime cube dr prime uh, for, with the limits 0 to r ok 0 to r 0 to r 4 pi k divided by r comes outside 4 pi k divided by r r prime cube is r prime to the power 4 divided by 4 0 to r so this is 4 and 4 cancels out pi k divided by capital r r to the power 4 minus 0 no need to write that so pi k r to the power 4 divided by capital r so this is charge within a sphere of radius r Okay, within a sphere of radius r, within that bigger sphere which is given uh, of radius capital R. Okay, so up to capital R, you consider any sphere with a radius of small r, 
charge within that will be pi k r cube r to the power 4 divided by capital R. Now, uh, let's substitute the values and uh, let's substitute these values and just write down what it is equal to. So, Q of R is equal to pi is 3.14, 3.14 into K. Remember, K we wrote in a of 14.1 pico coulomb per pico. So, 10 to the power minus 12. So, 14.1, 14.1 into 10 to the power minus 12. Then we have capital R. Capital R is also given to us. That is 5.60 centimeters. So, we have to convert it. 5.60 into 10 to the power minus 2, uh, yeah, just r, then r to the power 4, we'll keep it as it is. So, this part comes out to be 7.906 into 10 to the power minus 10. So, q of r is equal 7 point, uh, 7.906 into 10 to the power minus 10 coulomb into this r to the power 4, right, r to the power 4, let us not write the units, 7.906 uh, uh, into 10 to the power minus 10, r to the power 4. Now, uh, let us go to part A. Part A asks us to find our total charge within the sphere, okay, total charge. That means uh, charge within the sphere of radius capital R. Okay, the total radius of the sphere is capital R. So, instead of smaller r, we'll write down capital R. That's it. So, that will be 7.906 into 10 to the power minus 10 into capital R to the power 4. So, part A total charge is 7.90, what is it? 7.906 into 10 to the power minus 10 into capital R to the power 4. Okay, into capital R to the power 4. Now, uh, Capital R is given uh, 5 point, what was it, 5 point, uh, 5.60 centimeters. So, this comes out to be 7.906 into 10 to the power minus 10 into uh, 5 point, what was it, 5.60 into 10 to the power minus 2 to the power 4. Okay, to the power 4. Now, this I have already worked out. This comes out to be 7.78, 7.78 into 10 to the power minus 15 coulomb. 7.78 into 10 to the power minus 15. This is the total charge of the sphere. Okay, total charge of the sphere. Now, we have to find out field. Uh, at different points at r equal to 0, at r equal to r by 2, at r equal to capital R and then draw the uh, graph. Now, uh, I will find out field at any point inside this uh, sphere, okay, inside this sphere. I had drawn a Gaussian uh, sphere for this of radius r. Now, from spherical symmetry, we know field is going to be radially outward, so its area, area is also going to be radially outward. So, angle between them is 0. This is not only at this point, this will be at all the points on this Gaussian surface. Okay. And again from Gaussian, uh, from the spherical symmetry, uh, we can say that field at all points of the Gaussian surface, all these points will be same in magnitude. Okay. Will be same in magnitude. So, Gauss law, what does Gauss law give us then? Uh, Gauss law, integral e dot dA or e dA cos of theta is equal to Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. So, E is constant outside, cos of 0 is 1, integration of dA is total area 4 pi r squared is equal to 1 by epsilon 0, Q enclosed. Charge enclosed by the Gaussian sphere is charged within the radius of r. And that we have already found that is equal to, uh, within a radius of r, 7.906 into 10 to the power minus 10 r to the power 4. Okay, r to the power 4. So, 7.906. So, Q enclosed is 7.906 into 10 to the power minus 10 into R to the power 4. Yeah, that's it. R to the power 4. So, this implies uh, R squared and we'll have only 2 left here. What else? So, E is equal to 4 pi comes downstairs. So, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is gamma. 
which is electrostatic constant into 7.906 into 10 to the power minus 10 into r squared gamma is remember 9 into 10 to the power 9 we can also substitute that value and then this comes out to be 7.12 7.12 into r squared into r squared this is field at any point inside the sphere okay feel at any point inside the sphere an important conclusion from here is feel inside inside the sphere is directly proportional to r squared okay is directly proportional to r squared so now uh, let's go to the specific things we are asked we are asked to find out feel at r equal to 0 that means at the center here at r equal to 0 so part b this is at r equal to 0 field is 0 r is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 everything becomes 0 so field is 0 then uh, we're asked to find our field at r by 2 capital r divided by 2 so c r is equal to capital r divided by 2 capital r remember is 5.60 centimeters divided by 2 centimeters 2.80 centimeter so field is 7. Point, what was it? 7.12 r squared. 7.12. 7.12 r squared is 2.80 into 10 to the power minus 2 centimeter to meter, but with a square there. So this comes out to be. I have already worked this out. This comes out to be 2.23 into 10 to the power minus 2. 2.23 into 10 to the power minus 2 newton per coulomb this is feel at capital r by divided by 2 then uh, we're asked to draw the graph yeah we're asked to draw the graph in part uh, e yes we have to draw the graph of field versus radial distance r now from what we have done till now, we have a sphere of radius capital R, a charged sphere with a non-uniform charge density. We have found that field inside is equal to 7.12 uh, R squared, 7.12 R squared. So that is directly proportional to R squared. And from spherical symmetry, we already know, we have done it so many times, that for points lying outside the sphere, it will behave like a point particle loca located at its center, okay, from spherical symmetry, okay. Uh, so, field will be gamma Q divided by R squared, gamma capital Q divided by R squared, we have written total charge by capital Q, gamma capital Q divided by R squared. So, field is inversely proportional to R squared, field is inversely proportional to R squared. So, inside field is directly proportional to R, outside field is inversely proportional to R squared. So, let us draw the graph now. This is R, this is field. Somewhere here is the surface, R equal to capital R, this is 0. So, R equal to 0 is the center of the sphere here and R equal to capital R is the surface point here, Okay, is the surface point. So, this is center of the sphere, this is surface, so this part is lying inside the sphere and from capital R onwards is outside the sphere, outside the sphere. Inside the sphere, field is directly proportional to R squared and outside the sphere, field is inversely proportional to R squared. So, graphs are of standard shapes. And so, this is field at uh, the surface which is the dividing line between the two. So, field, this is field inside. Outside, it is inversely proportional to R squared. So, field is going to be this way. This is inside, this is outside. Inside, field is directly proportional to R squared. Outside, field is inversely proportional to R squared. Okay. So, this is what we are asked to find out in this problem. That will do for this session.